very good morning students today we are executing slip number 2 of your php okay i will just show you the question what is the question about okay so my question is we have to take two strings from the user we have to see the first and last occurrences of the small string in the last string second thing we have to count total number of occurrences of small string in the last string and we have to take one more text box which which will replace the string okay we have to use inbuilt functions that is your string inbuilt functions i will just show show you how your form will look like okay i have drawn this so we have to take two strings we have to take third text box to replace we have three radio buttons first one is first and last occurrence second one will show you total occurrence and third one is to replace okay so this is your basically a html screen design okay so we will let's start with the coding we will start with the coding i have already created my slip2.html file okay i start with my html page i started with my html i go to head and this i go to title title i give for example as slip2 i close my title and i close my head i start with my body okay in body we have form form we have two methods first one is action action i take for example my slip 2.php file this is my action and method i take for example as post okay we have to take three text box this is my string 1 this is my string 1 i take input type equal to text i take input type equal to text and name i take for example str1 and this is your br that is your new line tag i copy this i paste this i take enter second string enter string 2 this is your input type is text your name is str2 and third one again i take enter string 2 replace okay input type equal to text and this i take as str okay now we have to take three radio buttons first one i take input type equal to radio i take id equal to 1 i take id equal to 1 i take name equal to ch i take name equal to ch and value again i take as 1 and this is your name that is first occurrence and last occurrence and this is your br tag that is new line okay i copy this i paste this second is your radio type okay input type equal to radio this is id equal to 2 name is ch and value is again 2 okay and this is your total occurrences i just type here as total occurrences and third one again i will paste this is your radio input type equal to radio id equal to 3 name equal to ch value equal to 3 and this is your replace this is your replace okay next line i come and we have to take two buttons first one is my input type equal to submit and value i take as okay and second again i take as input type equal to reset and value value i take as cancel okay this is my closing of my form and this is closing of my body okay i will just save my program let's see how our html page will look like my file name is lepto.html my folder name is form i will go to my browser okay i will just type http colon 
http colon double slash localhost slash my folder name is form and my file name is slip2 dot html I, and i press enter okay so this is your form it will look like this we have taken three text box string one string two string three to replace we have taken three radio buttons that is first occurrence second total occurrence and replace okay and we have two buttons okay and cancel now we will start with your php page i've already created slip2.php we will just write the code for this okay i take first variable for example str1 equal to now this is my post method okay so i directly call my post method and in this the name of text box one that is my str1 ending with semicolon this is my second variable str2 equal to again i take post method and this is the name of text box two that is my str2 ending with semicolon again i take third variable as str equal to this is my post method and the name for replace text box we have taken as str ending with semicolon okay Again, I take one more variable as ch equal to again post method, and this I have taken as I have taken as ch the name of radio buttons. Okay, and one more variable I take to check occurrence that is dollar oc equal to I take as zero. Okay, so I will just print first what input we have taken from the user. I type string one. My string was it is nothing but dollar str one. Ending with my br tag. Okay, that is new line. Ending with semicolon. Okay. Second one again. I take. I just copy this. I just copy this. I take string two. This is your str two. And again third one. I take string. To replace that is your str. Okay. Okay. Now we have to check which string is bigger and which string is smaller. For that, I am using if condition. Okay. If dollar. If we have to check length, that is str. L e n my string length of my dollar str one. If it is greater than string length, string length is an inbuilt function that checks the length of the string. And this is of dollar str two. If we have to check if my string length, string one is greater than string two, then we have to provide the operations using switch case because we are using radio button. For that, we have to use switch case. And switch, I give. My dollar ch that is my radio button choice. In this we have case one. Okay, case one. Colon. In the go, I will just type as. Your first and last first occurrence. Sorry, your first occurrence is at position. Okay, the inbuilt string function we have to use that is echo. The inbuilt string function we are using as str pos, which will find the first position. Okay, in this I take str one, comma str two. Okay, string position is a function. That will find you the first occurrence. I will just write in the comment as first occurrence. Okay, if you scroll down your mouse, if you scroll your mouse here, okay, in string position, it will show you that find the position of the first occurrence of your substrings. Okay, so we have find the first occurrence. Now again, we have to find the last occurrence. Okay, for that again we have a string function. I just type last occurrence. Is at position. Okay, we have to use the inbuilt string function for that. We have strrpos. Okay, strpos will give you first occurrence, whereas strrpos will give you 
last occurrence okay in this again i take str1 comma this is my str2 ending with semicolon i will just write in comment as last occurrence okay this we have completed so there is a break for my case 1 ending with semicolon now we have to start with my case 2 to colon okay now we have to count the total occurrences okay for that we have taken a variable that is oc equal to for total counting total occurrences we have a function inbuilt string function that is sub str sub string underscore count okay this is a function that will count the total occurrences and in this i just give str1 comma str my dollar str2 ending with semicolon okay if you scroll your mouse it will give you information count the number of occurrences in your substring okay so this is a function i will just type in comment as total occurrences okay again we have to check the condition if your dollar oc equal to equal to 0 that means if it is 0 that means we have not find anything so in e Echo. I will just type as string dollar str two not present in string that is dollar str one, and this is your br tag ending with semicolon. Okay, that means you are you have not find the string if this is if this condition not satisfied and then else condition i will just type as we have in echo i will just type as substring substring dollar str to present dollar we'll see how many times that is present okay times in a string dollar str1 okay that means this this much time the string is present this is my br tag that is new line ending with semicolon okay so this is the completion of case 2 after completion i just write break ending with semicolon now we have third case third case we have to replace okay for that i take one variable as str3 okay this is my new variable in this i store the inbuilt string function that is str underscore replace okay in this we have three things str2 str2 is nothing but my find then we have dollar str str is nothing but the actual replace which string we have to replace and third string to is find str is actual string and this is dollar str1 this is your actual string okay we have three attributes first one is first one is to find second one is to replace and third one is the actual string i will just write in the command as find replace and actual string okay this can be asked in your exam okay what is the meaning of what and this in this echo i will just type as after replacing string is dollar dollar str3 okay we have stored in dollar str3 so i'm just calling my dollar str3 this is the end of your function so a break ending with semicolon okay now this is your if condition is we have done with if condition second is else condition okay i start with else now in else i copy the entire code i copy the entire code for else condition same code i'm just copying the entire code i copy and i paste here okay in else part 
I've copied the entire just I will change my string one with string two and string two with string one. Okay, because this is your else part. I am just replacing string one with string two and string two with string one. So I will just replace all the strings. We are doing this replacing in else part because we are in this bigger. string one is bigger in if part. Now in else part, I'm just taking the second part if my string two is bigger. This also I take string one. This is dollar str and this is your dollar str two. Okay. I save my entire program. I save my entire program. Let's see how the output will look like. Okay, I reload my page every time. Please reload your page. Okay, now I take string as sy bbca php. My string two is sy bbca and to replace if I want, for example, abc. I click on first and last occurrence and I press OK. Okay, so it is giving me output as string one as SYBBACA, PHP, SYBBACA. Second string as it is giving me SYBBACA. And third, it is giving me replace as ABC. Okay, now first occurrence is at zero. Okay, this is my first occurrence starting with zero. Okay, we will just count and the last occurrence this is showing me as 12. So we will just count with zero. Zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, space is also counted in this. Please remember the first occurrence of S Y B B A C zero is at S, and second S is at twelve. So it is giving me first occurrence and last occurrence. Now I will go and click on total occurrences, and I press OK. So it is showing me that substring S Y B B A C is present two times in the string S Y B B A C. Okay, it is counting the total occurrences of S Y B B A C. So S Y B B A C is two times in the entire string. And third one, I click on replace. Okay, after replacing the string becomes A B C P H P A B C. Okay, that means S Y B B A C is replaced with my A B C. So this is your slip number two. We we have executed slip number two with all the radio buttons. Okay, first and last occurrence, total occurrences and replace. Thank you, students.